I should not have cut my own hair. Back at Farah, ye old petite, this time around it's finally my turn to earn my baby dragger wings. Having not flown in three months and with a rusty brain, it was going to be a lot to take in. Fortunately, under the wise tutelage of Stefan, I think I was going to be just fine. If the aircraft is straight, pointing straight down the runway, you can bounce like a grasshopper and it doesn't matter. You're going to do a race course pattern. It's more like the British, the RAF used to do. You have a, a wheeler manual. Yeah. You're going to do your downwind checks. Extend a little bit so that you can get used to the plane. And then your base checks and final checks. Same day. Uh, same cock, different day. <laughs> when you do something in the tail dragger, your weight wants to overtake you when you're not straight. The, the whole idea is the three-pointer landing. We want to get as many landings in as possible. You want the weight of the aircraft behind you. Deck angle of a tail dragger has got a high angle of attack. The nose wheel airplane, when your wheels touch down, your angle of attack decreases. The lift, even if you fly too fast, gets dumped. If you do it like a tail up taxi, yeah. You see a lot of guys pull the flaps. With a tail dragger, as you're coming in, your angle of attack increases all the time. Any excess speed is going to cause you to... We, we line up on the runway, now we're ready to take off. And this is where it becomes fun. Picture is going to be different. Add a little bit of flap to be awake. So that's it. Now, with the rust thoroughly scrubbed off my brain with the blue model biplane burned into it, a new haunting charm that will follow me into my dream life. Pre-flighting and nervous. The baby dragon will fly. Now the one thing we want to make sure yeah. is the wheel is straight. Now we did, we did taxi a little piece, so we know the wheel is now taxi straight. Okay. So on this one, you're going to follow me. All right. But still handle the throttle. Okay. Under no circumstances you let go of the throttle. It's full throttle and it stays there until I tell you. Copy. All right. Now you follow me through. Feet off the brakes. Feet off the brakes. All right. The wind is from the right. So it's help, helping us a little bit. Stick up forward. See, there now we are level. Yeah. Now we let the stick come back to neutral. We're actually flying already. Oh, wow. Well. Now we put the ball in the middle immediately. Ball in the middle immediately. Yeah. Okay, so what we need to do, first thing is to cut the power to idle, get the nose up, then we're going to wait for our speed to come at about 70, keep the nose there, you'll see we'll sink now. Add a bit of flap, about 10, there we go. A bit too much. A bit too much. Yeah. yeah, just keep your speed like this, this is perfect. Just hold it, hold it, hold it. Now start your flare, hold off, hold off, and flare. Oh wow. Now keep the nose straight down the runway. Okay. Right, tail up. Yeah. Okay. Full power. Power. A little bit of right rudder. A little bit of right rudder. Now just tack straight. Yeah. And fly. That's it. Wow. Brake on off. Brake, brake, brake. That's it. Wow. This is interesting. I'm on the ground for once. Travis is up in the air. He's getting his tailwheel endorsement and uh, he's actually just done his first landing went pretty well and i think this is basically what we're going to focus on for the next couple of weeks for this channel is essentially i'm going to do a semi-advanced bush flying type short field course we'll basically we'll compare the two where travis does his initial tailwheel endorsement versus like a more advanced type training course so yeah super super cool here he comes for his second landing let's see how this one goes In your stomach, in your stomach, oh, and relax the stick, yeah. light rudder, full power, you must stick forward, okay, stick forward. otherwise we're going to be flying at a too low airspeed, slow oh. movement. Okay. Super, super interesting to see how people land a tail dragger, especially for the first time, uh, right in front of me. So I'm standing right here underneath the windsock, 
and it's literally the perfect place to stand when filming someone do their landings. That last landing was a bit bumpy, but I mean it'll come together pretty soon. Here we go. How's that, man? That was um, that was really intense, but really good. Yes. Learn a few things. I've learned so much. I've learned <laughs> so much. <laughs> I feel like a parent, and their kid has just come home from school, and you're just like, "What did you learn today?" <laughs> I I've learned a lot. I didn't understand last week what Stephen was saying about it this being a, a scrambler, but it uh, is now, a scrambler. Yeah, now you understand. <sighs> sure. I definitely haven't flown in three months. It's I feel fun, that is so much fun, but I feel quite tired. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think I've got the tail dragger makings? Basically, my only comment is that you're not making a bowl of porridge, so yeah, yeah. don't don't fiddle on the controls. So you have to be really careful. 60 knots approximately is where you start getting behind that drag curve. Okay. And then your angle of approach, it's it changes from a normal aircraft to yeah. a stall plane because once you get to 60 knots. The angle of attack goes up, the drag yep. goes up, and that angle changes from a forward glide to a, yep. you know, like a s going down the slope. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's and that's saying. where you have to start managing the energy very well. And would you say maybe sitting more around 62, 63, just give yeah, you a little bit like of leeway? 60, yeah, then, then it's a normal aeroplane. Yeah. Then you just fly the normal three to three and a half degree okay. approach. And, and that hold off section, you you bleed yeah. the power off and it will just... That's the biggest it. change for me, is just the perception of things, because I, I I feel like I was doing everything too early. Yeah. That was you doing well, I mean, yeah. for first lesson it was excellent. Awesome, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Yeah, that was awesome. awesome. Enjoy. I'm tired now, I must go sleep. It was awesome. <laughs> okay, now let's you do see. It. No, let's do full. There we go, COVID-19 handshake, baby. <laughs> We, we have hand sanitizers. So. Yeah, we were sanitizing <laughs> the whole time in the plane. Don't worry, we won't put that in the video. <laughs> we were drinking it. We were drinking the sanitizer. 